So when deception is taken to extremes, like in the Manti Teo case, it can destroy lives. KITV4's Laura Yamada joining us now with a look inside the mind of Ronaya Tuyasasopo. Laura? Well, it has been debated to no end. Why did he do it? What was his motivation? How could he delve so deeply into deception and maintain it for so long? We talked to an expert on the con artists who cheat, prey, and at times love, and those scouring the internet for their next target. This was a love affair. Yes. Yeah. But it's a fantasy of lies that he's believing. Professing his love, trying to prove his motivation was pure. As twisted and as confusing as it may be, um, yeah. 22 year old Wanaya Tuya Sasopo publicly admits he's the mastermind who created Lene Kikua, the fake online girlfriend that football star Manti Teo would call the love of his life. I just found out that everything that and I believed to be my reality wasn't actually reality at all. But I think the internet invites people uh, because of anonymity to be able to feel like they can stretch the bounds of personal responsibility. Psychologist Dr. Marvin Acklin says Tuya Sasopo created what's called an avatar, an imaginary character often created in an online game of deception, these days called catfishing, and all played under the cloak of the internet. It's a con, so we have a whole class of criminals that, that make a living doing cons. Did you assume this identity to try and get money? No. I never wanted anything. I just felt like he's somebody that's trying to get close to Manti for, for either money or notoriety. Teo's uncle and others have accused Tuya Sasopo of seeking financial gain, the motivation of most romance scammers and cyber criminals. Acklin says he's skeptical of that, but has a deeper concern for those willing to deceive at any cost. We use the term psychopath or sociopath to describe somebody who acts without a conscience. I'm so confused. I'm so lost. Ackland says the motivation, the mindset of a man such as Tuya Sasopo may take years to unravel. Criminal or just confused? We may never know. I think it remains to be seen because the Internet's a world in which there's an invitation to do that. What I went through was real. You know, the feelings, the, the pain, the sorrow, that, that was all real. And that's something that I, I can't fake. Now, as we've noted, Tuya Sasopo has repeatedly stated he was not trying to scam Teo out of any money, but that his motivation has become a huge problem, though, for investigators. In fact, they say scammers right here in Hawaii are getting bolder and better at taking advantage of their victims.